Welcome to the testing world. In this session, we are going to understand why to learn Python. So here, we have many questions in our mind when we go for Python. So these are the few questions that we always think before going for any scripting language. I'm working as a manual tester. So why should I learn Python? How Python can be used in my daily manual testing activities. Why almost all companies want manual or automation tester with the scripting language knowledge like Python. How Python can be helpful for us in automation testing. So in this session, we are going to cover answer of all these questions. The first answer is Python can be used to generate test data. So when we are doing manual testing, we required test data to perform manual testing activities. Sometimes we need only few set of data, but it might be the case when we require a large set of test data. So Python has a rich set of libraries which can be used to generate test data. So whenever it is required to generate test data for manual testing activities. It's just a task of few minutes to generate heavy set of test data. So Python can be used to generate test data. So next is process or parse test data. So many times we have data in different sources like I have a test data which exists in database or maybe XML file or notepad file or many other formats. But we want to process the data or we want to pick the data from these formats and I want to bring all the data in my Excel format. I can take an example in which uh, we are hitting a web service and in result we are getting a XML file. It was a very heavy XML file of around 10 MB. So my task was to pick test data from this XML file. But we are facing problem like when we are opening a 10 MB XML file, many times it got hang because it's a very heavy file. So it was very difficult to perform this activity to pick data from heavy XML file. I take one more example. I'm filling complete data, complete information on the application. We have the different pages. And at the end of the page, when we done everything successfully, we are submitting the data. When we submit, a file is generated, a XML file is generated with all the data which we have filled in this complete process. So testing activity was or manual task was to go for the final XML and validate all the data that we have filled in complete testing process. So it was a very difficult task because I have filled around 12 pages and whatever the data you have filled in the 12 pages, then go to the XML and validate all the data. So for that kind of manual testing activities, we can validate the data which we have filled in XML file by using Python or any other scripting language. So Python has a rich set of libraries with the help of which we can validate content in any format file. Moving to next part. So we can use Python to generate reports. So as a manual tester, I'm executing a lot of test cases. And after execution of the test cases, we fill like pass or fail in our Excel sheet. So after the execution, if we want to generate reports, so we have to do it manually, like how many test cases are passed, how many failed, what is the passing percentage? What is the failure percentage? If I want to compare my current execution result with previous execution result and then generate report. So it's a very typical and time consuming task to perform it manually. But with the help of the Python, we can go to each and every response, execution response of the different test cases, and we can generate reports on the behalf of that. Apart from it, it is possible for us, like if we have two different Excel sheets for the different execution, like results on my previous build execution and the results of the current build execution, we can compare that 
and we can generate report on the behalf of that. So it's very helpful in a manual testing activities to perform or to generate reports by comparing the current and the previous execution or on the behalf of the current execution result like passing rate, failure rate, etc. Next use of the Python is to set up test environment. So set up test environment means like after execution, I want to check do we have any error line in log file. I want to take backup of the log file. So whatever the task we want to perform with the log file, we can use Python for that. After or before execution, I want to clear my temporary space. That kind of activity we can perform by using Python. I want to check my CPU, memory and other status so I can use Python for that. If you want to perform some administrative tasks like I want to set environment variable before execution or after execution of, of my testing activity for that I can use Python. Now, now we have few automation areas in which we can use Python. So many times it is required to perform API testing. So we can test or we can hit APIs by using Python. We can validate the response which is coming from server by using Python scripting language. Also, we have many tools in the market, many automation tools in the market which support Python as a scripting language. The most commonly used tool that is used in the market with Python is Selenium. Python can be helpful for manual tester as well as automation tester. These are the basic reasons because of that in today's environment most of the companies are looking either manual tester or automation tester with knowledge of Python or any other scripting language. Thanks for watching this video.